Welcome. Today we'll be demonstrating the Bitnami Mattermost Team Edition stack. This is an open source self-hosted Slack alternative that auto deploys to all major cloud platforms. So with Mattermost, you have open source workplace messaging across web, mobile, and PC, including native apps, with continuous archiving, instant search, and unlimited immigrations. Mattermost deploys to all the leading cloud platforms, all the leading orchestration platforms, all the leading virtualization platforms, and also deploys directly on Linux as a single binary under MIT license that connects with either a MySQL or a Postgres database. It's really simple to install. We'll show you today how to get started, and there's extensive value in this communication solution. Matamos lets you place your vital communications under IT control. We're going to start the demonstration today by auto-deploying Matamos to Azure using Bitnami. We're going to go straight to the Bitnami website and walk through the steps. Once Mattermost is deployed, set up, and ready to use, we'll spend 10 minutes walking through the features. What does the end user tutorial look like? What's that experience for a new user seeing the software for the first time? What's it like to import a Slack team to auto-populate users and channels? How do we set user profile settings for the administrator account created by Bitnami? How do we do group messaging? How does threaded messaging work? What advanced formatting is available in Mattermost? How do we share files? How do we preview files? What's the mobile experience like? What's the multilingual experience like? And what can we do with themes and customizations? So in this demonstration, we're going to set up a brand new Mattermost instance and answer all of these questions. We're going to start our demonstration on the Bitnami website. So we'll start by going to bitnami.com slash stack slash Mattermost. That's bitnami.com slash stack slash Mattermost. You get this page here. Click on the Launch in the Cloud button. And you can deploy to Amazon Web Services, to Azure, to the Google Cloud Platform, Oracle Cloud Platform, even CenturyLink and one-on-one. -on -one. We're going to pick Azure to start. Connect your Cloud Platform account with Bitnami and automatically deploy your infrastructure with persistent servers on demand. You can choose the size of the server you want, the region that you want, and you're good to go. You can also launch a demonstration instance straight in your browser. I'm going to click this demo in browser and this demo instance will be available for one hour and it lets you just try out Mattermost to see if you like it. So I'm going to click launch demo and you can see the demo is being prepared. So now that the Mattermost server has been deployed there's two additional steps needed to customize the deployment. The first is to set up SSL and the second is to set up SMTP email for email notifications inside the system. There's step-by-step -step instructions in the documentation on how to configure these. Right now what we want to do is jump straight into the demo instance and show you around. We're going to use credentials that are automatically generated by Bitnami. The username is going to be user. And you want to click the show button here to copy the password that's been automatically generated. Now we're going to go to the application. You'll get a warning that your connection is not private. That's because you still have to set up SSL. Click advanced and click proceed. And now you're ready to log in. So I'm going to type user, and I'm going to enter that unique password that was generated, and sign in. Another thing you'll notice across the top is a banner that says email notifications have not been configured. That's the extra step you need to do with SMTP email configuration. So I'm going to click that notification off. You'll notice that when I enter the application, it'll give me a little tutorial about what Mattermost does and how to install the Mattermost mobile apps on iOS, on Android, on Mac, Windows, and Linux. It'll give me a link to invite more teammates, and it'll also give me an email address where I can go for support. And this email address is going to be customized by the IT admin so that any questions about your self-hosted instance can be handled internally. When I click the next button, the tutorial's done. We want to show you now how to import an existing Slack team. So I'm going to go here to main menu, and I'm going to go to a team settings. I'm going to go import. I have step-by-step -step instructions on how to export a team from Slack, take that export file, and add it here to Mattermost. I'm going to click the import button, and the import begins. You can see in the background, there'll be a lot of user accounts created as that file imports, and we're going to be adding tens of thousands of messages from that Slack team into Mattermost. Okay, now the Slack team is imported. I'm going to go over here to account settings. I'm going to go to change my full name. Let's call this user Paula Potts. Let's use the username Paula. And let's add a profile picture. So 
save that and let's add a position we'll say this person's an executive producer great all right so all that's set up now I'm going to the more menu I'm going to open up one of the imported channels I'm going to open one up called asset room so so this Slack team represents a video game company and this asset room represents the channel which they use to discuss art assets now I want to post in the art asset channel room to say hello and let people know that we've just moved from Slack to Mattermost and that we should just continue on our conversation and work here. So this is a video game company and one thing we want to do is talk about some of the video games we want to develop in future. Specifically here we're going to ask, should we create a pepper and carrot video game based on the comic books? There's a comic book out there called Pepper and Carrot. It's pretty cool. It's all ages. It's a wonderful audience. It's got some high quality art and all the content is open source. So we don't have to do any licensing. We can just create that video game and all the art is free. So now this is queued as an agenda item for a meeting. And what I want to do is I want to add a little bit more information. So I'm actually going to reply on my own message. I'm going to click this reply button here. And I can add something like a link. Now that link here shows in the main channel, but it also shows in the side thread on the right hand side. So I've got my main message. Here's the agenda I want to talk about. And I've got some information in the form of a link. So that's one topic. But what else is on my mind? I also want to talk about how to upgrade the channels that we've imported from Slack to Mattermost. How do we upgrade them, make them look a little nicer? Well, let's take a look at how this channel was imported from, from Slack. I've got the name Asset Room. It's in lowercase letters. It has no spaces um, and uses dashes. It's a little bit weird. And you know, if I'm, you know, I was coming from a different country like Japan or China or Korea, this really isn't usable because my users aren't used to speaking English all the time, and it's weird to use English characters. And also in the header in the channel, you can't have any formatting in Slack. So you have this munge of words and links and things that you want to make available, but it looks really messy. I actually have to click on it to see all the information that's there. And this is what we used in Slack as a video game company. And it was really hard to use. So I'm just going to take a clip of that, add, add that to my thread here discussing what it means to upgrade. And that's going to be one of my things to talk about is like, ooh, it looks kind of messy. But what I'm also going to do is show an example of, well, how do we, how do we fix that up? So I'm going to go here. I'm going to, first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to rename the channel. So instead of just lowercase letters and symbols, let's call it like asset room, you know, just like a regular you know, words, asset room. That looks a lot nicer. It just says asset room. Um, and over here, this, uh, this channel header that's got lots and lots of sort of messy links, I'm going to replace that with markdown text, which is supported in Mattermost, which means that the name of the link I'm going to have in square brackets, and the link itself I'm going to have in round brackets. And that's just going to render really nicely and neatly. So you saw that big mess of links and words, and I've just made it to, you know, really simple links, it's really smooth, looks great. I'm going to show off a little bit here to show up on these Mattermost features. I'm actually going to add one more thing. The ability to embed images using Markdown. So I used to use a little bit of Markdown code. It was very similar to a link. I just used an exclamation point, very standard Markdown to embed an image, and there it is in the header. Right now we're showing code coverage, which is at 82%, but this could be, but this is just an example. It could be project completion or many other metrics brought in from a backend server just using a markdown embedded image. Really simple, really powerful. So now you've got this really nice, really well formatted channel experience. So I'm gonna take a screenshot of that and I'm gonna add it to my little discussion that I've queued. I'm gonna click this file here and just show you the image that I've clipped in there. You see, this is the before. We've got a direct import from Slack, weird channel names that are only alphanumeric, lots of messy links and here's the after here's what it looks like in Mattermost you can use any sort of characters that you want you've got nicely formatted links you even have the ability to embed markdown inside of headers just really easy to use powerful and you also have the ability to favorite so if I click over here add to favorites that goes that goes my left hand sidebar as a little favorite channel that I can access all the time. So I want to come back to the story here, which is, you know, Paula has queued for discussion this idea of, of updating channels from Slack to Mattermost. And she's got some examples, and you can see as she's doing it, she's renaming the channel to Asset Room. That gets documented 
in the channel showing what got changed. She's changed the header, that gets documented. She changed the header again, that gets documented. She adds some files, that, that gets documented, as it all should. But here's the problem sometimes. Sometimes you want to come back and like, well, what about this thing I wanted to talk about up here? It just gets pushed to the top in a lot of messaging solutions. Well, now I want to go back and I want to talk more about the pepper and carrot video game, even though I was sort of interrupted by my own subtopic. Well, I can totally do that because of threaded messaging inside of Mattermost. I'm going to hit the reply here. And I've got that mess that first item that I've queued. I've got the image that I've queued and I want to add some more to it. I'm like, oh yeah, I want to talk about this video game again. And what I want to add to the discussion is, hey, you know what? I forgot to mention, there's been a really basic pepper and carrot video game that's already been created. Now it's pretty different from what we want to do and I want to add an image here to show what that's like. And you can see this animation of the pepper and carrot video game straight in the channel. And you can see this reference to the original thread. So what I've got here is this thread that continues the conversation even though I've interrupted. And how's all the assets in one place where I can continue the discussion. So as an example, let's talk even more. Hey, you know what? There was even a pepper and carrot motion comic. So I'm going to talk about that. I'm going to say like, oh, here's a YouTube video. I'm going to build on the idea of pepper and carrot and put all that content into one place, into one thread. So now I've got a video of the Indiegogo project used to raise money to create this motion comic. And that video plays straight inside of Mattermost. My name is David Trivon. For this... So I did some more research and found a few files that I want to share within Mattermost. I'm going to drag them into the, the product, and I can drag them either in the center channel or I can drag them into the side channel as part of that thread discussion. Again, something that Mattermost offers Slack does not, the ability to add files to a thread. So we're going to drag them and leave them on the thread. And you can see the files being uploaded. And I can add them as a comment. So I've got four files added. I can add up to five. Let's open these up. So first I've got the Indiegogo campaign. I've got an image of it. So if we're doing a video game about pepper and carrot, maybe we can do an Indiegogo account that's going to be similar to the motion comic to raise some money and awareness about the project. We have a picture of Nikolai who created the motion comic and the Indiegogo campaign. So thank you, Nikolai. Some other assets from around the world. This is the pepper and carrot comic, but it's in Japanese. You can see it's another sort of derivative work. It's all translated. So we've got a wonderful community in Japan that could potentially be contributing to our video game in Japanese. Maybe they can help us translate it if they're fans. Wow, and here's something completely different. We have some PHP code from the Pepper and Comic website. This is some code to run their wiki. And you can see if I hover over it, it actually says PHP. Wiki.php, it understands the PHP code and even renders with syntax highlighting. So I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to show off just a little bit here. We're going to paste that PHP code straight in the discussion thread, but I'm going to prefix it with three backticks and the, t and the words PHP um, and paste that in and then end with three backticks. That's going to create syntax hiding for the PHP code straight in the Mattermost. You can see it right here. It's in PHP. All the syntax highlighting for PHP is, is applied. I've got that here in the side channel, but you know what? That's a little hard to read. So here's another bonus feature of Mattermost. You can expand the side channel and it takes a widescreen view. So now I've got all my discussion, you know, this could be search results, it could be side threads, and I've got a full widescreen view to work with that material. So the expanding sidebar feature right now is specific to Mattermost. Slack doesn't yet have it, although Slack does pick up a number of Mattermost features over time. Mattermost came out with threaded messaging in 2015. Slack announced it as a new feature for their product in 2017. We do believe that Slack will be catching up, but that's generally how the industry works over time. So another benefit that Mattermost has over Slack and other proprietary messaging solutions is that we welcome a global community. Hundreds of people from around the world have contributed to the Mattermost project and they come from all different languages and backgrounds. So check out all the languages. We've got German, English, Spanish, French, Dutch, Portuguese, Russian, Korean, Chinese, both traditional and simplified, and Japanese. Let's try Japanese. So I want to switch over this language. We had that pepper and carrot Japanese comic book. Sort of the same idea. Check it out. Main menu is now in all Japanese. So all the account settings I was just using. 
you want to use Mattermost just from a mobile web client, you can do that too. You can just resize the browser and you'll have access to responsive mobile web view where you've got functionality similar to the complete desktop web experience in mobile form. Now Mattermost does have native iOS and Android applications, but the responsive web view gives you extended flexibility on any mobile device that supports a modern browser. And you can see the user interface is really quick, it's really responsive, it's really full featured, easy to use, it's in all the languages that Mattermost supports. It's a very complete experience on mobile. So I want to show you a fun feature now, which is theme settings. So you can go account settings, theme settings, and you've got a wide range of colors and looks. So you can see here, we've got a completely black theme it's to match your corporate colors or your identity or your preferred IDE settings. And we offer complete control of every color in the system. There's over 20 color settings to change. Plus you can even change your default font. So whether you're coming from Slack or Basecamp or HipChat or Yammer or Link or Skype for Business, you can have Mattermost echo the look and feel of your original system. Mattermost is really designed to be open and flexible. And here's a bonus feature for the Slack users. You can even import your Slack theme colors directly into Mattermost. So there you have it. Mattermost is an open source, self-hosted Slack alternative. It's easy to set up, easy to use, and has a powerful set of features. Hundreds of people around the world have been building this project as a way to bring communications back under IT control. I hope you'll try it out today.